Good evening and welcome to Poland Daily. I'm Natalia Moczurska and this is the news. Good Friday is celebrated in the Catholic Church today. It is a commemoration of the martyrdom of Jesus Christ. On this day, the faithful are obliged to fast strictly, meaning three meatless meals, including one to fill the hunger. This year, the Way of the Cross in Rome's Colosseum will take place without the participation of Pope Francis due to his health condition. The Paschal Tridium begins with the evening liturgy of Holy Thursday. During the solemn Mass, the priest washes the feet of 12 representatives of the faithful. Pope Francis performed this rite on inmates in one of Rome's prisons. Each of us sins, each of us, and this awareness, this certainty that each of us can stumble is what gives us dignity. Listen to these words, gives us the dignity of being sinners. The Holy Thursday Mass ends with the introduction of the Lord Jesus into the dark room, where he is adored by the faithful throughout Good Friday. Today, the tabernacle is empty. Christ experiences a day of absolute rejection when he is judged by the Sanhedrin, by Herod, by Pilate, as a villain, as a false messiah. In a sense, there is a complete hiding of his deity from the eyes of the people. The liturgy of Good Friday is unlike any other. Mass is not celebrated in churches around the world on this day. At the beginning of the rites, the priest lays down the cross in front of the altar. The Passion of Christ is then read during the liturgy of the Word. The main point after the liturgy of the Word is the adoration of the cross. The celebrant brings in before the altar, unveiling it, showing it to the faithful and singing the poignant words. Behold the tree of the cross, on which hangs the salvation of the world. Today we are in the second stage of celebrating this feast, that is, we accompany Christ in his dying on the cross on Golgotha, and at the same time we dare to look with confidence, with faith at his cross, so that we can also find the meaning of our own cross. Everyone has their own cross. St. Augustine wrote about the Paschal Tridium as early as the 5th century, so the tradition of the Paschal Feast dates back to ancient times. Because this is the absolute pinnacle of the liturgical year, but also the pinnacle that reveals us the most essential mysteries of our faith, it is to lead the way of human drama and the drama of God, the way that leads through the cross, through death, but ultimately leads to the resurrection. The Paschal Tridium ends tomorrow with the Mass of the Easter Vigil, which includes the Liturgy of Fire and the renewal of baptismal promises. According to tradition, the rites should begin after dark. Radio Z's portal described the case of the family of a patient who filed a notice to the prosecutor's office, claiming that their loved one waited eight days to be transferred to the ICU due to the fact that a place in the ward was blocked by the husband of same speaker, Ashbieta Vitek. In connection with the publication, the speaker of the same announced she would take legal action. The accusations contained in the article by Radio Z journalists were addressed in a special statement by the Speaker of the same, Elżbieta Witek. I have never sought any special treatment for my husband, nor a transfer from the district hospital, nor any other extraordinarily special measures to which I and my family are entitled by law in connection with my office. I leave all medical issues to the doctors at the hospital in Legnica, in whom I have full trust and respect for their work. In an important week when the focus is on one's family, hitting Mrs. Speaker's family, Family is clearly lined with a desire to hit Mrs. Speaker, who is fighting for her husband's life. This is a situation that has to be explained. I understand the deep suffering of Mrs. Marshall Vitek. I understand the suffering of this family, because the disclosure of personal data should not have happened. It cannot be that politicians, due to their social and political position, can be treated in a privileged way in relation to other citizens. The deceased woman's daughter believes that her mother has not received adequate medical attention, as the speaker's husband has been taking a place in the ICU at Lignitsa region hospital for many months. The person filing the criminal complaint was questioned with the participation of an attorney. We have asked the medical facility to send us information. When we receive it, we will decide what to do next with the proceedings. In the face of the accusations against Rzbieta Vitek, words of support were also expressed by the president of law and justice, Jarosław Kaczyński, making an accusation because of the fact that Mrs. Speaker Rzbieta Vitek, as a loving wife, has been fighting for the life and health of her seriously ill husband for a long time and used 
using this information for political struggle is simply an undignified action and deserves the toughest words of condemnation. In turn, the chairman of the National Broadcasting Council, Maciej Świerski, has launched an ex officio investigation into the publication on Radio Z's website. The speaker of the same has also announced legal action. The radio station's editors are denying the allegations. We do not agree with the allegations made by Ms. Speaker Elżbieta Witek in her statement. Our article was prepared with journalistic diligence. We also believe that the discussion should now focus on the substance of the problem we described. How do the doctors feel? After all, a great injustice has been done to them, too. They do what they can to save human life, and suddenly they are put in the role of those who do some business. Representatives of the National Health Fund said that all procedures regarding the treatment of the husband of same speaker Elżbieta Witek were carried out in accordance with current regulations. Chinese President Xi Jinping met with visiting European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen at the Great Hall of the People in Beijing on Thursday. She said China has always regarded the EU as a strategic force in the international landscape, and the development of China-EU relations has always been a priority in China's diplomacy. President Xi Jinping said China is willing to continue the good transition with the European side, maintain close communication, enhance strategic mutual trust, focus on mutually beneficial and win-win cooperation, jointly overcome interference and challenges, and achieve a high-level operation of China-EU relations. I welcome Mr. President and Ms. President to pay a visit to China together, which shows the European Union's positive willingness to develop relations with China and serves the common interests of China and the European Union. This year marks the 20th anniversary of the establishment of the China-EU Comprehensive Strategic Partnership. We are ready to work with the European Union to follow the general direction and main keynote of the development of China-EU relations well, comprehensively restart exchanges at all levels activate mutually beneficial cooperation in various fields, remove disturbances and challenges, and inject new impetus into the development of China-EU relations and world peace and stability. European Commission President von der Leyen arrived in Beijing on Wednesday for a three-day visit to China. The European Union and China today have extensive and complex relations. How we manage these relations will be a determining factor for our future economic prosperity. This is why I do not see decoupling from China as a viable or desirable. We are living in an era full of uncertainties, so we need to strengthen exchanges and coordination, and clearly and sincerely express our views so as to find common solutions. During the meeting, President Xi Jinping stressed that China and the European Union should enhance communication and build understanding to avoid misunderstandings and misjudgment. Moreover, Xi Jinping discussed that China and the European Union should face up to differences, control differences and respect each other, adding that he hopes that the European Commission will focus on the fundamental and long-term interests of the EU, proceed from the overall situation of China-EU relations and play an active role in the healthy and stable development of China-European Union ties. Ursula von der Leyen discussed that the exchanges and mutual learnings between the Chinese and European civilizations have had positive influences on the world, and that the European Union and China have brought consensus on many topics, such as climate change, as well as prioritizing political settlements of regional disputes. The European Union side disapproves of decoupling and disruption of industrial and supply chains and is willing to enhance exchanges and dialogue with China and resume the three dialogue mechanisms as early as possible to carry out more mutually beneficial cooperation, said Ursula von der Leyen. On the Taiwan question, Xi Jinping emphasized that it is the core of China's interests. The Chinese government and the people will never allow anyone to make a fuss about the One China principle. Anyone who expects China to compromise on the Taiwan question could only be wishful thinking and self-defeating, Xi Jinping added. Ursula von der Leyen reiterated that the European Union has no intention to change its long-standing one-China policy, recognizes the government of the People's Republic of China as the sole legal government representing the whole of China, and hopes that the Taiwan Strait will maintain peace and stability. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Please stay tuned for Poland Daily Weather, Poland Daily Business, and some of our other programs. But for me, it's have a wonderful weekend.